Welcome to eToll-free. Today I'm going to show you, how to whitelist your IP address in eDialer. Let's get started. All eDialer servers are protected by a firewall system. This gives an extra layer of security to your dialer to prevent hackers or any unauthorized users from accessing the system. Upon sign up, you will receive two emails from us. One, which has your eDialer admin username and password. And second, which contains the firewall username and password, that looks like this. The link to whitelist your IP address is the same link, or URL, that you will use to log into your dedicated eDialer server. You will just need to add a colon 81 at the end of the domain, that looks like this. After clicking the enter key on your keyboard, a small pop-up box will open at the top of the page. Use the provided username and password. Now, be careful in typing in your username and password as both are case and space sensitive. This page tells you that you have successfully whitelisted your IP address. Two of the most common user end issues are Number 1. This site can't be reached. When you see this page, this means your IP address have changed from the last time you logged in. You just need to whitelist your IP address again by using the firewall credential. We highly recommend to save or bookmark the firewall credential on your user's browser, whether it's your dialer administrator, or your agents. Number 2. Unauthorized page. When you see this page, after typing in your firewall username and password, it means you entered the wrong credential. The workarounds to this are opening a different browser, using Chrome's incognito window, using Firefox's private window or simply clear your browser's cache. For any other e-dialer concerns, don't hesitate to reach out to our friendly e-toll-free customer service by going to our website and clicking the chat icon at the bottom right of the page. Thank you for choosing e-toll-free's e-dialer system.